Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls. Let's get you some angelic messaging. If you want to do like a personal reading, you have a couple of options for right now. But here's the first one. This one's always available. Angelsouls444.com. Those are my standard readings. Those, like I said, are always available. And on occasion, I can do a live uh, reading via Zoom. Those are not a permanent offering. It just kind of depends on what's going on with the schedule. But you can always reach out to me uh, via email, angelsouls444 at gmail.com to see uh, what is available, pricing, all that good stuff, okay? So there's that. If you want to support me on Patreon or see courses over at Gumroad, all that information is down below. And if you like what you see here, please remember that liking, sharing, subscribing, and hitting the notification bell helps out the content creator. So don't just do it for me, do it for everybody, okay? All right, let's tune in here. We're gonna do a general in the beginning here and then we'll break it down into three groups. I will remember the timestamps this time. I, you know, I don't know why I keep forgetting them. I'm sorry, okay, okay. Let's see, what do we have here for when you come across this video? Now some of you, wait, let's address this. Some of you have said, I miss when the dates were put in the dailies all you have to do is hit the notification bell. You will get a notification for those. Or you just go look and see when it was uploaded. That's how you'll know the date. It doesn't need to be in the title, okay? And the readings are meant to be timeless. So if I put the time or the date in the title, other people will overlook them. So just look at when it was posted, okay? That date is right there. It's very available. Let's see. Let's see. We've got transformation. We've got truth. It's a good day. <laughs> Prenite trust. So Prenite is also an angelic crystal, so it can help you communicate with angels. Oh, excuse me. Um, sorry, I'm grabbing my crystals here. Uh, if I can get them. So this is Prenite, and then I have Angel Light right next to it. These two I love working with together. Prenite can also help you with uh, past lives, past life patterns, that sort of thing. But we're starting off with the message of trust. So as things feel like they're falling apart, or if you're trying to speak your truth and people are making you feel bad for it, I just, if you haven't checked it out, I just posted a video, uh, the truth behind social media. And <laughs> I think it's time to talk. It's time to let people know what is really happening out here. And that's not even the full story. So if you want more, let me know. But uh, trust the process, trust what your angels are bringing in for you, and trust, like I said, if you feel like you need to speak up and speak your truth, of course, try to do it as lovingly as possible. Use your discernment. Lapis lazuli, past life. I was just saying that pre-night can help you with past life stuff. So this, as you see this, could be a wonderful time to do a past life regression. Um, I see it more like visiting a parallel life because... Time is not linear outside of this construct as far as we know, okay? As far as we've interpreted the messages. <laughs> but lapis lazuli is also about the intuition. So it's interesting that we have trust, lapis lazuli. There's this message here of trust your intuition. Uh, trust that if something comes up and it's a big pattern and it's right in your face, uh, knowing that, okay, I need to take a beat here. I need to take a moment and maybe look into that a little bit. See if I have some past life patterns around that. Uh, and your angels will absolutely help you with that. You can also work with Archangel Jeremiah. Jeremiah helps you go on the path of uh, unlocking, you know, some, some lesson loops that you might be in. <laughs> right? So let's see what else we got here. <clears throat> I love this crystal. It's dioptase, what is it? <laughs> Let's try that again. Dioptase, because there is a diopside, but it's dioptase. Heart healing, look how pretty that is. I swear, I don't really have a favorite color, but if I had to pick, it'd be something like this, like a blue-green. Love it, just love it. So, trust your heart, releasing your heart. Um, fear, survival mode, being afraid of not being loved or supported or... Um, feeling powerless to the game that's going on out there. Because there are a lot of little tricks of the trade happening where people are trying to, you know, get rich 
by overtaking someone else or by using their resources to pump up themselves. There's something here where it's like, okay, we're going to even out this energy that's coming through. We're going to open this up and you can't be in denial with this. That's the biggest thing. If you're in denial or you think that you've got nothing to learn, <laughs> guess who's going to reincarnate? <laughs> you, okay? <'Cause laughs> forget the past lives. Ooh, you're going to be looping around and looping around trying to figure out your stuff. <laughs> so take this moment. <laughs> Spare your soul another experience like the one you're having and just try to figure it out while you're in it. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Spirit Quartz music. This is Archangel Sandalfin. Sandalfin coming in and saying you need to tune up. Metatron helps with that as well. Sandalfin and Metatron are brothers, but Sandalfin is known as the Archangel of music and sound healing, sound frequency. So think about sound baths. There are tons of great creators on YouTube, other platforms that offer that for free, you know, and they can you can do this while you're meditating or whatever, okay? But make sure you're giving yourself uh, some space to do this healing. And trust that things are going to be okay. I feel like that looks like, oh my gosh, like I'm out of ideas. I don't like my job, but I don't know where else to go. I don't like where I live, but where else do I go, <laughs> right? Um, there could still be a little bit of confusion around that, but fear not. It's, it's working out for your highest good. See... The divine and angels and archangels, they're all seeing what we don't. So we might have a story in our head or an expectation with how we think things should go, but maybe that's not what's going to be in our highest good, okay? So we have red, root chakra, sense of safety, material manifestation, feeling safe and at home within your own skin. This says free yourself from pain. The number is two. I always associate the number two with Archangel Sandalfin. As well, my dress makes noise. I like it. I don't know. <laughs> but Archangel Sandalfin, being grounded, being balanced, harmonizing the physical self and the spiritual self. So isn't this interesting? We have spirit courts here representing, obviously, your spirit, your soul. And then we have red. This is your physicality. This is your density body. And there needs to be some harmonizing around this. And there are things that are taking from you that you're going to need to put a stop to. So I, you know, in that video I was mentioning where I just put it up about social media, you know, where, and you could apply this to your job, your home situation. I was talking about the apartment complex I live in, just upped our rent by $300. I don't have a roommate. I don't have a spouse. That's all on me on a freelancer salary. So, you know, stuff like that, like getting out from under that kind of pressure around your home. Maybe for you, if it's a mortgage or refinancing, check with an expert to see if it's the right time to do that. Um, or, you know, getting out from under a job where you're just overworked, underpaid, those sort of things, okay? So that's where we're starting off the foundation of your message. Now you can listen to the whole rest of the video if you care to, or you can choose one of the groups. What you can also do is if you feel like, let's say, strongly pulled to group one, but also a little bit of group two, but not group three at all. Listen to the one that feels the strongest first, then the next one. So let's get into the groups. Hello, group one. I hope you're doing all right. I know things are, do they feel, let me know down in the comments, do they feel like 
scary and exciting because that's how I'm feeling right now. Like I know something's coming. I know something's going to be different, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> right? Okay, let's see what you need to know. Please make sure you listen to the base reading that sets up the foundation of what this message is, okay? Of course, if you want a personal reading, angelsouls444.com. On occasion, I can do live readings. That just kind of depends. Uh, you can email me at angelsouls444 at gmail.com to see availability on that. Of course, check out Patreon, Gumroad, all the things, all the things. All the things are in the description box. Thank you and good night. <laughs> all right, let's see. What do you need to know? Skull sight peace. Oh, right? That's immediately. <laughs> I don't know why I just did it that way. That was, I think I'm in like, I think I'm a comedian mode today. We'll see how this goes. But like just breathing out, things are really ramping up. They're really kind of feeling like you're squeezed to the max. You're twisted to the max. I don't know where else to go from here. And then it's like, ah, oh, you know what? I don't have the solution, but I'm going to go crazy if I don't give myself a chance to have a little peace. Uh, and knowing that the answer that you're seeking can come from peace. Getting yourself into a chill space, right? Okay. New my healer. So this might be some of you reaching out to someone who can heal you. And this could be a therapist, a doctor. It could be a spiritual practitioner. Some people you know, work with shamans and uh, maybe do sound healing or do Reiki or you get a reading or you know what I'm saying? Like something that helps heal you, give you comfort and help you with your perspective. Even if you do a Reiki session, when you come out of that, some of the things that were being a distraction, now those are quieted down. Now you are in that place of peace. So working on that because you're not going to get any solutions. We are in... Like I said, exciting but scary times where things are shifting and changing, but you're not going to get the proper um, information, the clear messaging about how that is going to go or what you need to be healing right now unless you calm down, okay? <laughs> like and when I say healing, yeah, you're doing the healing so you can heal. Hang with me. What do I mean by that? I mean, you start small. You start small and you just start with healing the stress. Start with that. And then as that starts to calm down, now you start opening up, okay, here's my pattern. Okay, here are my fears. Then you start working on that. And then you could start working towards your goals. Make sense? I hope so. All right. Let's see. Labradorite, take action. Labradorite is about your intuition. So you have to take your healing seriously. Don't just jump past it and think, well, I got, I'm in survival mode. I think everybody, a lot of people are in survival mode. And even people who have seemingly made it, they always have this, I know, because I give them readings. <laughs> they have this secret fear of losing everything. All right? So everyone's kind of clamping down. I don't know, kind of getting into a space of, I don't know what's going to happen, all of that. So Labradorite is like, hey, get that clear thinking going. You might have to break out of your usual routine. Well, you're going to have to break out of your usual routine and what comes up, you need to take action. So if you do all of this healing, you're getting into a calm, peaceful place and you're expecting the divine to just dump an opportunity in your lap, uh -uh. you got <laughs> to gotta take action. You are the one who facilitates the physical manifestation of what the divine is showing you, okay? Fluorite learning, yeah, so that you're going to make some mistakes along the way. Fluorite can be a very abundant crystal to work with as well. But the abundance comes through, again, like it says, learning. So catching the parts that are holding you up. This is that kind of thing where you go, if you have a friend who you never hear from, and when they text you, you kind of like tense up because you know they're just going to ask you for something and try to use you for something. You wake up and go, why am I friends with them? And I know societally speaking, people are like, oh, well, you should at least have like a friend breakup. You don't need to have a friend breakup. No, you don't. Especially if someone, it depends on the person. Like if they're sensitive and they're just, you know, you just don't see eye to eye, maybe be nice about that. But if there's somebody like a narcissist or something who just, they don't really care about you in the first place. They're just using you as an object in their life to make them seem popular or um, just to like feed off your energy. No contact. You don't owe them anything. You feel me? Check with an expert on that. Oh, we got enough of those cards. We need these cards. 
but don't take it anymore. Okay, you're cleaning up your life and that's part of the learning process. You're learning where the cleanup needs to occur. Okay. All right. Ooh, okay, so I love this color. If you watch, was it the general reading part of this? I don't remember. But Diaptase come up and it's this like blue green. I love it, like the light blues, all that stuff. And here we go, we got turquoise. So awaken your empathy. The number is 34, that reduces to seven. So this is part of what's going on here. Things have got in the way of you, um, I don't know, feeling that balance, that harmony. Some people associate turquoise with Archangel Sandalfin, which makes sense. I could, I could feel that out. I usually associate him with like a rich, like brown color. Like think of like really rich soil. Don't even matter. You can have a combination of both. Okay. <laughs> Everything is valid here. And actually I heard, I wish I could remember where I saw this. This was years ago, but a practitioner said something really genius. And she said that turquoise is actually a combination of uh, your heart chakra and your throat chakra, which kind of puts you in the space of the higher heart. Now I associate the higher heart, or it could be the heart, the tiny space of the heart. Drumvalo, Drumvalo, I got this. Drumvalo Malkizadek says that the tiny space of the heart. Check out his work. It's really cool. Um, but I thought that was so genius. Like the, the throat and the heart chakra being turquoise because it's blue and green. Yeah. Yeah. I get that. Okay. It lands. <laughs> All right. So awaken your empathy. See where maybe you have become so self-preserving and in such survival mode. That's a huge message for you if you chose this group. Where are you just almost short-circuiting trying to make it? And where can you kind of release that and, and then see the next direction you need to go in? Okay, so we're going to leave it there for you guys and move on to group two. Hello, group two. Let's see what's going on for you. I encourage you to look at the general reading at the top of the video. Uh, but if you did skip it, personal readings, angelsouls444.com. If you want to try a live reading, that just kind of depends on availability. Email me to see what's up with those angelsouls444 at gmail.com. And of course, check out my Gumroad courses. If you want to support me on Patreon, all that information is in the description box. If you're saying, I, I'm not giving you no money, forget it. That's not happening. Then subscribing, hitting the notification bell, <laughs> like sharing, commenting, that all helps out a ton as well. Show your favorite creators that you appreciate them. So not just me, but all the other content creators out there by interacting with their content. Okay. Malachi, healing. Ooh, this is like a whole thing. Uh, group one got, I don't know, like I think I told group one, I think I'm in the mood today where I think I'm a comedian. So I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry in advance. I don't know how this is going to go, but they had a whole theme of healing as well. But here's the difference for this group, or this might be an amplification if you chose group one and now two. Malachi is intense, okay? It is very intense. And like, you don't want to carry Malachite with you when you're trying to heal around a toxic work situation because you don't take toxicity once that process starts when you're working with Malachite. You could go in and tell your boss off and get fired, okay? So like, be careful. Be careful. Maybe do this after work, you know, okay? That sort of thing. But you're releasing yourself. Yeah. Spiritual awakening, selenite. So let's talk about selenite. In the process of your spiritual awakening, do I have selenite? I do. It doesn't look like this one, but it's like really cool. You can't see, but it's like engraved. But this can be a really effective clearing uh, crystal, okay? So this is really good to have by... Uh, I have a piece of this by my door, my front door. Uh, you can have this next to your bed at night and even just kind of clear every once in a while. Uh, why do I have it next to my door? Everyone who walks through that door ends up getting a cleansing. And if they don't like that or it's against their free will, they walk back out. <laughs> I've never had anybody do that, but yeah, just a heads up. So this is a part of your spiritual awakening. We're really coming into a time and it's going to be really profoundly affecting you where it's just like suddenly you're in a clear space where you can see why have I been allowing that? Why have I allowed other others' needs to overtake mine? How is it that I've gotten in debt trying to help other people when I really needed to say no and take care of my own business, right? You're having things like that go on or 
Why am I staying attached to a situation, a place, a person when it doesn't serve me? And here we go. Amethyst. The card says meditation. So that's really uh, helpful. I got to wake my computer back up, my monitor back up. Um, but amethyst is also very healing. And obviously it's good for meditation. You may not know this, but it resonates with Archangel Raphael. I know it's purple, but <laughs> Archangel Raphael. So we have, uh, if I can pick it up, very much a Raphael kind of thing going on here. So be working with that Archangel. And he's all about healing. I should have said that with the Malachite. But Amethyst also helps with travel. That's something people don't really know either because Raphael helps with travel. I know. <laughs> all these fun little facts, right? And Amethyst is, if you don't have crystals and you want to start working with crystals, get a piece of Amethyst and clear quartz. You know, those are great places to start. New Might Healer, there was another group that got this, or maybe this was in the general. But you're definitely taking, look at this. Your whole thing is all about healing and clearing. I mean, that's every card here. <laughs> every card has something to do with Archangel Raphael healing, but healing through your awareness. If you know that you eat a lot of sugar and maybe diabetes runs in your family or something like that, you need to take action to heal, like how you eat. Um, or if you eat when you're stressed, okay? Um, <laughs> like People know when I'm stressed because I poof out like a blowfish. Uh, but you know, healing the stress, healing the things that are making it so you don't want to take care of yourself, okay? And that could be energetically, it could be physically, mentally. Always make sure you get with a therapist, a doctor, you know, whatever it is that you need help with, okay? All right, let's get you a color card. Let's see what's going on there. All right. There's a theme here with these beautiful blues, okay? It's been through every reading so far. We just have group three to film, but this is Aqua. Experience peace and calm. The number is 33. That is, uh, you know, the Ascended Masters kind of wisdom coming in but it's tapping into your inner wisdom. So working with them to help you tap into your wisdom, but allow yourself to heal so that we're not in the rat race. So we're not in this thing of, oh no, I'm not going to have a roof over my head because some system in place is threatening us. Um, but just, yeah, laying all that down and not being intimidated, not being intimidated. So if you do have a thing where like, let's say you get behind on a bill and now you're getting all these notices like, you better pay, you better pay. Okay. There are circumstances that might be happening in your life. When you come to that peace and calm, you'll find the solution. But while, like if you start giving into intimidation, you're not going to be in a clear enough space to attract things that can help, help you or to have the solution, right? The distraction is real <laughs> in this world and you're learning to step around that. Okay, so we're going to leave it there for you guys and move on to group three. Hello, group three. Let's see what is going on for you. I highly recommend that you go back and watch the foundational message at the beginning. But if you did skip it, that's okay. I understand we're all, <laughs> we only got a couple minutes here and there, right? But I will say that if you want a personal reading, you can do the standard reading, which is on my website, Angel Souls. 444.com. If you want to email me and see if live readings are an option by the time you see this, they may or may not uh, be. It just depends on the schedule. You can email me at angelsouls444 at gmail.com. Of course, check out my Gumroad courses. I have all kinds of them over there. And if you want to support me on Patreon, all of this information is in the description box. Okay. So, oh, so check it out. Okay. You know what? I got I to gotta talk to y'all. Hold on. So first, look how pretty. Look how they kind of match. I like it. Uh, calcite relaxation. Now, this is honey calcite. Honey calcite, when you work with it, it kind of just silences everything for a moment. And you know, it's like an awareness of knowing your problems didn't go anywhere. <laughs> but once you get this guidance, you're going to come back in and know how to proceed. This has come out for a few groups. So this is new my healer. And it's pretty self-explanatory, but I think this is a very, very healing time. What does that look like? Because in the spiritual community, we throw that word healing around. It's, it's what we do, right? It's, it's what we're showing up for. But with the relaxation and the healer card, 
almost all of these groups have some theme of survival mode, burnout, uh, reaching the end of your rope, tired of it. I need a change. We need to move on from this. I don't know if you guys, I mean, we do have like an eclipse coming up and Mercury retrograde coming up. But if you can safely get away for a little while, I feel like for you guys, nature might be, might be the ticket. Again, be careful, you know, don't go for a hike out in the middle of nowhere by yourself if you can avoid it. You feel me? All right, let's see what else you got going on here. Group three, Lapis Lazuli, past life. So, okay. So lapis lazuli, in my mind, first and foremost, is intuition and a little bit of throat chakra too. So it's uh, speaking from a place of wisdom, basically. And then the past life stuff, this is very Archangel Jeremiah. So if you want to do past life regressions, you can work with that Archangel. And of course, angels of past life regression. You don't even need to know their names. You just call it on out and let them come on in <laughs> and help you. But this is definitely healing uh looping lessons that came up somewhere else but you're not going to be able to move on or be properly prepared for this next chapter of your life because it could be really good you know i mean it could be amazing if you don't let some of this go right so you might still be operating from an old system an old belief system you feel me it's that kind of stuff all right let's get you another card This diopside, Mother Earth. Wasn't I just saying, like, getting out into nature is probably your gig? There you go. Okay, now this is Archangel Ariel. This is getting into that. Um, Archangel Gabriel. You know, you can work with any Archangel that you want to. Um, what's her name? I think it's Christine. I always get confused if it's Christina or Christina. With Angel Chatter. She's a very cool lady. I got to meet her. Uh, and I believe she has in her deck Archangel Thuriel who I had not dealt with too much, but I think he's also a part of nature and animals and, and all of that as well. Double check me on that. But we have Mother Earth here. Let yourself detoxify this energy. It For you, it's all about letting go of toxic patterns. And we're talking about deep soul level things that you keep learning over and over again. So for example, if you fear feel very alone in this life and maybe that comes from a pattern of feeling unlovable not just in this timeline but in other timelines or if you've had plenty of timelines where at one time you had a lot of money but you misused it and you're trying to make amends for that you might have a few lifetimes of lack right trying to get you to a healthy place with uh dimensional resources like money okay letting all of that go why aren't your color cards shuffling what's the deal huh? okay brown established boundaries the number is 12. 12 is completion it's very sacred and to me it's always like having now all the pieces to the puzzle but brown i associate with archangel sandalfin and you see this like new life coming in this next chapter but you need to learn to be grounded and to establish boundaries. This is making sure that you're not sort of being bullied into going along with the group, uh, even though someone else's needs are being met, but yours aren't. Why does this feel like a mommy card or mommy reading kind of? I mean, it could be for everybody, but you know how like mothers and housewives, they have to run everything and take care of everybody and they usually have their needs be last. It has that feeling. It has that feeling. <laughs> I'm laughing because I totally just got this image of like a mom being like slamming the door. She's got her shades on and a bag. She's not leaving permanently, but she's like, husband, you take care of the kids. Okay, I'm going to go for a ride and I'm going to go off and have dinner on my own or whatever. Right. Like just kind of reconnecting with herself, maybe going to the beach, maybe going, you know, for I don't know. I, I want to be careful with telling people to go out for a hike. I hike on my own, but um, I also take lots of protection with me. <laughs> so just be careful. You know, use your discernment whenever you are going out into nature. And uh, do not have, I know, here's me being a mother to y'all. Don't have your headphones in when you hike. You crazy. Okay. First of all, mountain bikers, they will run you off the mountain. They don't even care. Around here in Colorado, we have mountain lions, bears, rattlesnakes, 
crazy squirrels. Oh yes, oh yes. They they don't they'll just they don't care. They'll hitch a ride with you. They don't care. You know, but watch out for the wildlife. Okay, is all I'm saying. Anyway, we're gonna leave it there. I'm sending y'all so much love and take care.